Hello and welcome to our project, which is about the development of an AI-based industrial drone for the purpose of 3D modeling, detection, and classification of anode baking furnace pits. So in the context of uh, aluminum production, electrolysis is used to extract the metal from its impurities. During the electrolysis process, carbon anodes are used. These carbon anodes have to be prepared uh, before the electrolysis process and uh, their preparation is done in furnaces that have that have uh, heating pits and this is the scope of our project we focus on the inspection of these heating pits or baking pits so the problem with these uh, baking pits is that they get deformed after a long period of time which leads to non-uniform heating of the anode which can uh, heavily impact the production of aluminium uh, usually human inspection is done but the major issues related to this is that they pose health and safety hazards to the humans and it takes a, a huge amount of time for them to carry out the inspection. So our proposed solution is to use an AI based drone which can fly autonomously over those pits. We also propose a data generation algorithm to train our AI models with. We also have a uh, pit detection AI uh, algorithm which uses uh, YOLO to detect uh, those pits uh, present in the area. Uh, we also have a pit modeling system uh, based on uh, 3D modeling in MATLAB. We also developed a web application uh, which the user can interact with and see reports of the flight. So our first subsystem which is responsible for the flight of the drone uses a tracking camera. The tracking camera is basically a smart camera which has uh, sensors in it. It is able to tell the drone where it is located inside. And so the, the drone is able to navigate by itself. Uh, of course, there's also a flight controller. Uh, we use Pixhawk specifically. And uh, we're able to communicate to the drone using a radio control system. Now, for the purpose of this project, we decided on uh, navigating the drone in a zigzag manner. This is because uh, the way the pits are ali aligned. Uh, and when we are done with the mission, we are able to construct a map of, the, of, that, of that section of pits uh, using the footage that is obtained. The drone doesn't only have an RGB camera attached to it, but also a 3D depth camera. This gives further information about the status of the pit as can be seen in the images. For the data generation algorithm, um, we have to use an algorithm to generate data, a huge amount of data for our uh, AI system uh, to be trained and uh, also to be uh, validated uh, upon. Uh, this uh, AI model provides the uh, right amount of data needed and gives us the ability to create our own uh, scenarios to test our AI system, uh, in addition of giving us the ability uh, to test the functionality of our whole system together. So, as you can see, uh, our method is just uh, getting like uh, deformations from the pictures that we got from uh, the EGA, Emirates Global Aluminium, uh, and uh, modifying them, taking some small parts, uh, segments of the walls, and deformations to create our own uh, new walls. So we create first of all an empty map and then distribute our randomly generated walls upon this map uh, with a fixed size for each wall with 1,700 pixels and for a 300 pixels for the width. Of course, the width of the wall is not literally uh, 300 pixels. We have a transparent pixels to help us distribute uh, everything in the map to look like a real map because if we had it like colored or something, uh, it will not look. Uh, the way we want it to look like So for our mosaicing software mosaicing software is used uh, uh, mainly to uh, Transform the group of frames that are taken by the drone into one large frame to help us detect uh, the bits and classify them accordingly because since uh, the, the camera cannot take all the bit in one frame here comes our novel AI for pits detection and pits classification algorithm architecture. To develop this algorithm, we had to build three floors for it. As you can see here, from top to bottom. The first floor 
gets the outcome map uh, after the mosaicing process. It basically takes the map and then uh, gets to the first object detection model we have, which is uh, for region detection. Okay, and then uh, the second floor simply takes the output of the region object detector, crops the detected regions, and takes them to the second object detector model we have, which is basically for uh, detection of pits. Now we have the detected pits and we know where they do present programmatically. These pits will get to be cropped and then goes to the third floor and the last floor, uh, the segments, classification and decision fusion uh, floor. This floor will take uh, the segments of the pits and classifies them. Then the final part which will merge the six classes for the segments and give a final decision for the pits health. Our approach for pits detection is to use AI based object detector and our choice was to use YOLO V2 object detector. As the approaches pipeline shows, one object detector is going to detect uh, the regions in the map and the second model will, will, detect to, uh, will, will get to detect uh, pits per region and then it divides uh, the pits to segments. These segments goes for classification process and then comes the rule-based decision fusion. Now, after the great job in the object detection, the third floor takes place. It's most importantly to classify the segments of the pit to judge uh, upon the deformation in every peephole domain using AI. The detected pits will encounter a well-trained classifier architecture that will label uh, that, it, uh, that will label its segments and prepare it to a full pit deformation judging system. Our judgment on both models were based on what professionals in the field judge AI models on, which are precision and recall. Generally, precision is when it predicts yes and how often is it correct. Recall refers to the percentage of total relevant results correctly classified by our algorithm. The traditional approach has scored 85.71 precision and 100% recall. However, the, or our novel AI, our novel approach outperforms the first approach in the precision. It shows that the precision we got with the second approach is 100% for both region and pits detectors. We generated over 40,000 computer vision based constructed images with uh, 7,000 for each of our six segments deformation classes. To trust our model, we cross-validated by choosing 70% of the data as our training data set and 15% of the data as validating and 15% for testing. At the end, we were successful on reaching an optimum accuracy of 92%, uh, which means that our model is sufficient enough to label each segment with its correct deformative class. Next, we will be talking about the 3D pit modeling subsystem of our drone. So our modeling algorithm uh, has been developed using MATLAB. We start off by uh, some pre-processing techniques, such as uh, blurring, binarization. Uh, we then use advanced computer vision, vision algorithms, such as Huff's transform to detect the edges of, uh, of the top of the walls, as uh, to de detect them as straight lines. We then detect features of the pit, such as the top of the walls, the bottom of the pit, and the holes that are present. Using these features, we are then able to uh, present a 3D model of the pit, as can be seen in this example. So for our data transmission uh, methodology, first of all, the user starts uh, the drone's mission, and then the drone will record the video of all the, of all the pits, and then upload that video to the Firebase storage. Uh, then the MATLAB, uh, MATLAB script will then retrieve that video, mosaic it, and supply it to our AI system in order to detect bits and then classify each bit accordingly. And then all the results and pictures of the bits will be uploaded again to the Firebase. And finally, the web application will retrieve that results and that pictures and then show them to the end user. So for our web application results, we have uh, in the main page, we have uh, the seven or whatever number of bits that we have uh, divided into different uh, pictures. And each picture has uh, like a frame 
uh, colored with either green or gray or yellow or red and those indicates that a green is a normal pit that means it's sound it has no deformation and gray is white it's deformed but it's white bit and then yellow it's uh, a bit narrow and then the red that means it's dangerous and it needs uh, immediate intervention and that is very narrow and those results are uploaded in a real time paces on the web application that means any change uh, in the factory will be immediately changed uh, in the web application of course after the drone uh, ends his mission once you tap on any of the pits you will find another page that, that shows in details uh, that pits condition in a matter of uh, image of the pit in matter of classification for each segment inside the pit uh, a depth image uh, which is taken by our depth image that's assembled on our drone and then finally a 3D model that represents uh, a real-world uh, real measurements.